What's up, everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video on the Podsmatic channel. We are back at it again, another podcast with elbows. Um, so within this ep- with this, so within this episode of the podcast, we're basically just going to go over the uh, most recent uh, situations that have been happening with YouTube, mostly about the apology videos that have been popping up the past few months, and basically just giving our thoughts about it and. Yeah, just talking about like how, why, why, why the situations that they're in not good and how they could reflect off it. Yeah. So I was thinking, starting off with the David Dobrik situation. Oh, perfect. On to the James Charles one, if that's okay with you. Yeah, that's that's cool. Okay, so. From my understanding with the David Dobrik situation, it, it was a big mess. Uh, it just didn't involve him, from my understanding, and evol- it involved his whole um, YouTube uh, group. Um, I forget what the uh, group was called. It was some type of ridiculous YouTube group. Bug Squad. <laughs> the what? His group was called the Vlog Squad. A very generic uh, YouTube name. Yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna touch on this very quickly. YouTube group names. They're. I don't know. They just. They just sound off-putting to me. Yeah, the Vlog Squad sounds is a terrible name. Yeah, but like YouTube group names in general, like it, it's kind of like a, a cringy thing. Like I get it. Like if she said like I'm part of like the vlog squad, it means like I'm part of this community. But at the same time, it just sounds it just sounds like a cringy thing to do. Yeah. Anyways, um, so the vlog squad got into some bit terrible backlash uh, a few weeks ago. I think it was the it's, it's been around three three weeks since the incident. Um, a lot of people attacked David, or like tried to cancel um, David Dobrik over the situation because he's like the main person, he's the person who runs the show and all of that. Um, there were a few other people that got involved, uh, but David Dobrik was the main person that people uh, went after within this situation. Um, yeah, from my understanding, David didn't do anything wrong, but because he is the, you know, owner of the group, he started it, uh, it is the, yeah, (laughs) people went after him. Um, I do think, though, that well, it wasn't David's fault that it happened. He should know what's going on with the other group members. And this isn't the first time this has happened. Group, just this time, people listen. Yeah, the whole situation was pretty messy. Because it, from my understanding, members accusing him of, I believe, started, sexual and assault. Then it turned into... And then, like, also accused for, like, um, not, uh, uh, I believe, um, that, uh, that's, a. Uh, that was the good thing to that was the right thing to do because it would show and like tell him that what what has happened here was a very serious situation and he needs to uh learn from it definitely um yeah i think Honestly, I think the vlog squad should disband, I guess, like, you know, not be a thing anymore. And I think that, 
I haven't watched David Dobrik's apology, so I'm assuming he owned up to everything because everybody was saying it was good. Have you seen um, both of them? He's he's uploaded two. No, I haven't seen any of them. Okay, so the first one he uploaded was a terrible apology. It was like, uh, it was um, a very short apology. Hold on, let me find it very quickly. Okay. Yeah, so I heard the the first one was fucking horrible, but then the second one was actually pretty good. Um, like I said, I haven't watched either of them. Um, however, if David owned up to his mistakes, okay, and he came clean about the situation. I don't think anybody should still be attacking him. And I think, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Let me be honest with you. Yeah. So his first apology video was uploaded three weeks ago, um, titled "Let's Talk." It was a two and a half minute apology video. Terrible video. Absolutely terrible video. Um, what made it terrible, not just the video itself, but also he, um, disabled likes and likes and dislikes, and he turned off the comment section. So that just made the situation a whole lot worse for him. Um, so that, so that video was terrible. He basically skims over everything that he was called out for. He doesn't really take accountability for that. But then, around a week later after that video was published, I'm surprised he published it to begin with, he re- he published another apology video onto his main channel. The first apology video was actually uploaded to, I believe, his second or like a, a separate account that he owns. But he then uploaded an apology video onto his main channel, um, which was a better apology video. It was a lot longer. And in, within this video, he actually takes accountability for his actions and yeah i would say like his first apology video was terrible the second one he actually did the right thing he took he took accountability he apologized to the people publicly and privately and he mentioned at the end that he would be taking a break so um yeah so far i would say he he um he did pretty well with apologizing um, I believe that he is uh, sorry for what he did, especially in the like. If you actually watch the video, you can you would actually understand. Uh, you can actually tell that he's not like manipulating you in a way to make you think that he's sorry for what he did. Like he actually is sorry for for what he did. Yeah. Um. Yeah, if he did good in the apology, he owned up to everything. He said he was sorry. He he apologized to everyone. I think I think people shouldn't be mad at him anymore. Well, they can be mad at like the things that he did, but yes, they can be mad at the things he did. But but um, his apology was good. If he's trying to make a change, then people should let him make that change i'm not saying we just forget about the things he does but forgive him for the things he did yeah but like as like the internet is everyone fucking hates each other so after he um mistake and then i'll sit for you yeah um after he um upload that apology video a few days later people still don't like the guy they're still trying to cancel him for whatever reason even though he properly apologized and took action for his um for his mistakes people are trying to um get him kicked off the platform like they're trying to get his channel terminated off of youtube where they've tried and uh, they failed obviously all that youtube did was like take um take adsense off um but but yeah, people after his proper apology video, they they actually still tried to like get him kicked out the platform and cancel him even farther, even though there was no need for it. Yeah, it's uh, 
that's just how the internet is, and I don't think it really is ever going to change. No, I believe actually, with the way the internet is um, operating and how people are acting on the internet, it's going to get worse. That, yeah, probably. Because within like the what last few months, people have got like tried to cancel the most ridiculous things for the most dumbest of reasons. Oh yeah. Well, again, it's the internet. People get canceled for fucking everything. You sneeze the wrong way, and people try to cancel you. Hell, you breathe the wrong air in the wrong part of fucking LA, and people try to cancel you. Yeah. You could get shot, and people would still try to cancel you. Anyways, overall, the David Dobrik situation was, um... A shitstorm. It was. It was actually kind of... I didn't really care about it. That's why I didn't upload a, a, an a, a official video about it on my channel, because I didn't really care about the situation. Um, but... It took it took a while for it to unfold. Uh, I believe it took a, around three weeks for, like, the entire story to, like... Um, be revealed and all that. Yeah, it's a bit, uh... Yeah, I'm with you. Um, I didn't really care for it, so that's why I know absolutely nothing about the situation. Well, I didn't care because, like, I don't watch the guy, so... Yeah, I don't watch David Dobrik. I know little to nothing about him. I know he's a YouTuber that does YouTube things. Yeah, he's like an over he's like an over over the top cringy um vlog content creator that um that makes content that's aimed for kids like at like twelve years old. Yeah. Anyways, do you have any more thoughts about the situation or you wanna move on to the next one? To the next one because I know more about that one. Okay, so the next up is the more recent situation. It's the James Charles, uh, uh, problem. Yeah, <laughs> This dude cannot, for the love of God, stop texting underage kids. It, it, it's honest. You go. He, he, like, okay, okay. I swear to God, he wakes up and thinks, who, uh, he, he, I swear to God, he wakes up and just thinks of every kid he could possibly text that is underage. But the whole situation is, um, it's, it's weird, dude. It, it's honestly weird it's it's uh, i would say that it's not surprising we see this so many times time and time again about content creators getting involved with minors like it doesn't surprise me but at the same time this guy's been caught more than two times yeah on this situation he's fucking weird he's a predator yeah like i believe just this year like I believe I think four or five people came out about accusing James Charles of like DMing them uh, and flirting with them and then last year if you remember he had a similar situation with like three other guys like like come on Yeah, James Charles is literally the definition of menace to society. James Charles needs to be locked up, locked away. And the we, the the odd thing is, is like he hasn't really um suffered that much um that much um. He suffered more backlash from when he tried to um 
What was the whole situation with that other beauty YouTuber and shit? Uh, yeah. Jeffree Star? Yeah, the Jeffree Star and... Is it the one when, um... Was it the Tati situation? Yeah, where James Charles lost like 2 million subs in like a day. Yeah, and then he like gained it back like two days later. Yeah, that whole situation. He got more backlash from that than talking to underage kids. How, yeah, that's, how, how the you fuck go. you look caught twice? How many times do you need to get caught to stop? Yeah, it's weird because be like... Caught to stop. You, should do, you shouldn't do it in the first place. Yeah, so like with the Tati situation, uh, she accused him. I f- I kind of forget about the whole situation, but he was accused of things that were made up. Like she was making it up this whole thing. It wasn't true, but people believed it. So it caused him to lose multiple followers and shit. I think the main thing he got accused of was like um, backstabbing her and like going like. Like, I think she she was, like, partners with him on, like, a brand deal and some shit like that. And then he made his own separate merchandise or something. And she didn't like that. And so she, like, made that, what, hour-long video of, like, exposing him. I don't really remember. It was a few years ago, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was. Yeah, so basically, James Charles lost, what, 2 million followers for backstabbing a friend, but he only loses a few thousand followers for texting underage children. Yeah. That and makes like, zero sense. Too, not even like some, oh my god, thanks for supporting me. Nah, he's weird. He's weird. No, he like goes out of his way. To talk to these kids who are under 18. And he knows they're <laughs> under 18. He's the dude that sends unsolicited dick pics. Ask who he is. If you if you remember last year. When James Charles got called out for this. People were. Um, uh, somewhat. Uh, agreeing with it. Because. To an extent, it was uncalled for. Mm-hmm. Um, but since he's been called out a second time for this, the whole community has just um, left him out to dry. They don't want to. They don't want anything to do with him anymore. Um. Yeah. Kylie. Kylie Jenner even unfollowed him, and somebody else, another celebrity, did. So since the apology, no, yeah, the apology video he released about the, um, uh, about the, about the allegations, which we'll talk about in a minute. It was uh, terrible. Terrible. Yeah, he's only lost 200,000 subscribers just because of that incident. Yeah, that's fucking stupid. Well, again, like, if you think about it, what's the main, what's the main, um, age group of his audience? Uh, teenage girls. Yeah, young girls. So, like, to be honest with you, they probably don't understand the full situation that's going on. And they also probably don't understand how serious this really is. Because to them, they're like, oh, I'm talking to one of my favorite, um, YouTubers. But, well... James was talking to dudes. James is gay. Yeah. So it's like it's not it's not girls that was being talked to. I feel I feel if James wasn't gay and he was straight and he was talking to you know underage girls, I think this whole situation would have been a lot different. Yeah, it would have been a lot worse, which is kind of sad so like that's how society is like if you do it to like an underage boy it's still bad but you don't get much of a backlash as if you do it to an underage girl exactly because like it doesn't matter what the gender of the kid is like you should still get the same type of black backlash from it no matter what gender the person is 
Yeah, for real. Anyways, like, majority of these fans are, like, 12 years old. So, like, they won't fully understand the whole situation and why it's a bad one. So, that's probably why he hasn't lost that many followers. Yeah, the whole situation is fucking stupid. James is weird. Needs to get off the internet. Uh, He mentioned that in his apology. He was like going to like not like upload videos or something for a while like if you watch the entire apology first off the audio is very quiet i don't know why but the audio is quiet like i had my computer max up to 100 you can barely hear him yeah for real also in the apology he mentioned that um, he used um, social media apps like TikTok and Instagram. Mm-hmm. He used them as uh, dating apps, which is like, what the fuck, dude? And that's for what? This is stupid. Bro, he's stupid. He's stupid. He's, he, he's stupid. Like, he's stupid. Like, he's like, what, 24 years old? Okay. First of all, how are you going to get caught like three times? Second of all, how are you going to use these apps for dating sites, even though you know that there's little kids on there? And fifth of all, how he not been fully canceled yet? I don't understand. Like, the beauty gurus, like, there's something just different about them. You can't cancel them. It's stupid. And it's weird because I think someone, um, I believe a year ago or so, like found him on like Tinder or something. And like he was queer baiting people. So like he was pretending to like be a female to get males to DM him. He weird. He's fucking weird. He's weird. All I gotta say is he weird. He, he a pedophile too. He a pedo- nobody nobody straight up calling him a pedophile, but he's a pedophile because he was sending he was sending wee wee pics to underage boys. Yeah, that's um, that's uncalled for. Very much uncalled for. And like he claims that he um they they lied about their age, so no, um. No, there's no way. I refuse to believe that. How many times is this gonna happen? He he has said at least eight times that everybody keeps lying about their age. But how many times is this gonna happen? Is this gonna happen, bro? How many times do people lie about their age? To you? Well, like a lot of people are saying, like, well, that kind of makes sense to lie about your age because, like. You have a higher chance of talking to uh, people, famous people like that, if you're like of age to talk. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. I don't. But the way um, James seems to take it is like, oh, you're above the age of um, uh, 18. Uh, let me um, uh, send you my. Uh, let me just send you a picture of my uh, my pee pee. Yeah, for real. This, like, ah, uh, fuck. Like, I believe that some of them, some of them was lying about the age, right? Like, there's no way that all of them was, you know. There's no way that all of them was lying, but I feel like some of them did lie about their age. Um, some of them definitely did lie about their age, but even so, James still needs to make sure that who he is talking to is actually who they are. Like, hey, send me a picture of your ID, just cross out, whatever. Oh yeah, he said that in the apology. He said, like, from now on, whenever I communicate with people, which is still weird, he's still going to try to communicate with his what fans. What the fuck? <laughs> like, over this shit. Yeah, he said, from now on... Once I'm com- when I'm communicating with my fans, I'm gonna have to ask for like an ID or passport, which is like 
interesting because like you can you can fake that too right you can get a fake id you can get a fake passport it's illegal but you can do it yeah you can do it it's not hard to go into photoshop and make a fake id no definitely not Think so like been continuing to talk to people but if he is stop trying to date people stop if you want to date people go on fucking tinder or some shit go on some fucking gay dating site i don't know fuck grinder bro has ads. there's probably fucking 42 single milfs in his area shit who knows maybe they trying to maybe they trying to get some james charles action Tifu was all for it, so why the fuck would nobody else be? <laughs> that was a meme, dude. I don't care. Tifu's still gay in my books for that one. That one was a little bit sus. I don't know if I fully believe him. My my question is about this. I don't think, because I don't think that this has happened. Uh, why haven't like the um? The FBI or something has been involved with this. Who knows? Cause they it... got problems. That's what, yeah. They got bigger issues. They got me. Cause like what he's doing or like what he's been doing is illegal. It, 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 it's against the law to do that. Yeah. All right, here's a good question. Uh, do you think it will happen again? Probably. I'm going to be honest with you, probably. Probably as well, because, like, if you've done it twice, it kind of shows that you haven't fully learned your lesson or you don't fully understand why it's a bad thing to do that. And the fucking idiot said he was gonna try and do- he was gonna continue to talk to people. Like, I- <sighs> Yeah, he's gonna continue to talk to people, but before he properly talks to them, he's gonna ask for, like, an ID or passport. Which, in my opinion, is ridiculous. Just don't talk to people at all. Unless you actually have- like, uh, unless you actually know they're of the age. Exactly. Yeah, it's just a fucking weirdo. That's all I can really say. Yeah, and I'm honestly not really surprised. I'm not. Like, I don't know the guy, but... I'm more disappointed in him. From not actually um, learning from his mistakes. Yeah, that's... Yeah, anyway. That's all I gotta say on the James Charles situation. Quick question. Whenever a content creator gets accused of um, pedophilia, con contacting underage um, uh, fans, uh, are you surprised anymore about it? Not really, no. This shit happens so often. For, I, for real, sometimes I'll just be waking up and I'll just be wondering, like, what new controversy is gonna happen today? Yeah, it's um kind of um disturbing on like how often this happens with content creators. It happens way too often. Yeah, and that's the bad thing because like it kind of like gives YouTube and YouTubers um themselves like it gives them a bad name. Yeah. Because, like, with um, the amount of content creators that have been called out for it and been proven to have been doing it, it very really makes you think on, like, uh, if you're, if you're, um, um, you're, the YouTubers that you follow are doing it, but they haven't been called out for it yet, you know what I mean? Yeah, it really, it, yeah, it makes you wonder. But I will never be caught slipping. I never talk to underage girls or boys or boys for that matter. <laughs> yeah, me either. I like I don't really DM people in general unless I like I know them or like before I text 
or like DM someone randomly on the internet, I make sure they're like of age depending on the conversation. I just don't talk to nobody, period. I don't trust nobody. People weird as shit. Yeah, that too. People are weird. Okay, so well, guys, that's it for um, another podcast with Elbows. Um, so, Elbows, what would your final conclusion of this um, podcast be? James Charles is a pe- James Charles is a pedophile and he's a fucking weirdo. David Dobrik should be forgiven, but we should not forget what he has done. Um, and James Charles is fucking weird and should be uh, locked up. He's a menace to society. Yeah, uh, that that's a very uh, that's a very good overall uh, inclusion conclusion of today's um topic uh what i would say is like if you're a content creator just don't message people okay that's that's pretty much it yeah just don't message especially kids like stay away from them and like especially if you're content creators that make content for kids you should be extremely more cautious than the people who don't make content for kids Anyways, that is it for another podcast. Uh, thank you all for joining, and hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Uh, thank you, Elbows, for joining me again for another podcast on the channel. Um, and yeah, overall, it, it was a great topic. I believe after I'm done editing, this one will be a lot shorter than the last two. But I feel like we, we um, covered some good topics, and we had a great, good, 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 a good discussion overall <laughs> yeah. um yeah very interesting uh and yeah I, I would say this uh if if james charles is caught again uh i'm just i'm done uh, i'm absolutely done uh but yeah anyways thank you all for watching and uh, yeah i'll see you guys next time bye Maybe I've been slipping back, dead in south, car sick on a Tuesday, missing cash, blacking out, heartless in a few ways, shit for luck, elbow shredded, I help things steady like too late, please calm the fuck down, I'll do whatever you say.